Welcome to IBM Mainframer Community. A complete reference for a mainframe programmer. Easy Treve Tutorial, Chapter 3. In this video, we will be looking into the report output, with print statement, in activity section. This video is a continuation of previous videos. So if you don't see the previous videos, that is Chapter 1 and 2. Then it is difficult for you to understand. I suggest you watch previous videos then come here. This lesson, introduces the print statement. The print statement activates the report statements, that result in a printed report. A report declaration, that follows the print statement, consists of a series of statements, that define the format, and content of a report. These statements consist of the report statement, report definition statements, and, report procedures. So far, we have seen, three such statements in our sample program. Report Title Line In our sample program, the print statement is placed directly after the conditional statements, that we added in the previous chapter. Once the conditional statements have been run, against a record of the personal file, the print statement tells, EasyTrieve to execute the report definition statements. The print statements are identified by a user supplied name, pay-rpt. This name, pay-rpt, ties the print statement, to a specific report of the same name, as indicated on the report statement. If the report name is not included, the first report in the job activity section is executed, whether or not, it has a name. After the report statements have been executed, control is returned to the beginning of the job activity section, where the next record is processed, or end of file processing is performed. All output routines, line counts, and page advances are handled automatically, when the print statement is executed. Next, we will see the line statement. This is the last line in the program. This line causes the detail lines of the report to be printed. The line statement, specifies the fields to print, and the order in which, to print them. So far, we have added four fields in the output report, department, EMP name, EMP, gross. You may wondering? what these fields are. These fields which we defined for personal file, in library section. If you want to add, more fields in the report output, it is very simple and easy treve. For example, to add deductions and net pay to the report output, we add the field names in the order, that they should appear in the report. This is the complete program with all the changes, that we made so far, on the sample program. This is the report output for the sample program. As you can see, the net pay, and deductions columns, have been added at the end. Just now we saw, how to add new field to the report output. So we added, net pay, and deductions, to our report. Those values are dollar values. Until now, dollar values have printed as ordinary numbers, with decimal places. We can modify the field definitions, by adding an edit mask, so that, the values in the report of dollar signs. An edit mask, is a pattern of characters, that specifies, how numeric data, should appear in the report. It is similar to the edited picture clause in COBOL. For example, we have added, edit masks to the three currency fields in our example program. Gross, net pay, and deductions. So, that they print with dollar signs. Mask, is a parameter of the defined statement, that indicates, that an edit mask follows. Edit masks, are enclosed in single quotes. In this code segment, the edit mask, named A, consists of the characters, $9.99. Naming the mask, lets you use the same mask for other fields, without, defining it each time. See here, gross field mask, named as A. So, this mask, A is used in net pay field. It make easier for you, to use the same mask for other fields, without defining it each time. The BWZ parameter, causes any all zero values, in the deductions column to appear as blanks. Please note, alphanumeric fields, cannot have an edit mask. After adding the edit masks, let's see, 
how our sample program output looks. See here, first report is without mask, and the second report is with mask, the last three fields in report, leading zeros are suppressed, and each value has a dollar sign. The following explanations, and rules, apply to the edit masks in our example. Each digit in a field, must be designated in the edit mask. Because, a 4 byte pack decimal field, is capable of containing 7 digits, we need to designate 7 digits, in the mask. This is done with, dollar 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 dollar, 999. Dollar signs in the edit mask, indicate, that a dollar sign is to be printed, prior to the first non-zero digit, of the printed field. This is called a floating dollar sign. It means, that, if one, or, more high order zeros are stored in the positions, where a dollar sign appears in the mask, they are suppressed, and replaced with a single dollar sign. Let us see some example, to understand the edit mask. As the number of leading zeros increases, the dollar sign, automatically, floats to the right. The digit 9 indicates that, any value occurring in that position, is printed as a digit. In the this example, all values in the ones column, or, to the right of the decimal, are printed as digits. Commas, and decimal points, are printed just as indicated. In this example, you can see that, commas are suppressed, along with high order zeros, for numbers less than 1000. When the same mask, is to be used on more than one field, you can avoid coding the mask, more than once by naming it, and then, specifying only the name on subsequent fields. Names can be any letter, from A, to Y. In the sample program, we named the mask, used on the gross field, A. Then, we specified the letter A, on the net pay, and deductions fields, instead of coding the mask again. Remember, multiple parameters, and sub-parameters are enclosed in parentheses. To suppress all zero values from printing, simply code, BWZ, after the mask, or mask name. Because, some employees in our report can have zero deductions, we included BWZ. It is abbreviated as blank one zero. This is the final topic in this video. We know, this video is getting longer than our previous one. Let make it fast. We are going to see, the most important topic in report creation is, field headings. So far, in our example program, field headings have come directly from the field names themselves. See this report heading name. These names specified on the defined statement. EasyTree views as field names, specified on the defined statement, as column headings, by default, unless column headings are described. One way, to describe alternative column headings, for better identification is, with the heading parameter of the field definition. For example, you can replace the default heading, EMP hash, with the more descriptive heading, employee number, like this in highlighted box. By placing each word in single quotes, you indicate that, the heading should be stacked, one word over the other. This is the output report, after adding the heading parameter. This is the end of this chapter. So far we discussed, how the print statement works, and also, how to use the mask, and heading parameters, to make your reports more readable. The summary of this chapter is, Print, activates a report declaration, resulting in a printed report. Line, determines which fields are printed on your report, and in what order, they are printed. Mask, lets you change the look of fields, on your report. Heading, enables you to customize column headings, on your report. In this chapter, we have made some minor changes, to our ongoing example program. This is the final look of our program after the change. In the next chapter, we hope, that is the final one for EasyTrieve tutorial. You will learn about report declarations. We will cover the topics, activity section, report statement, and report definition statements. Thank you for watching. Please support us by subscribe the channel, and watch the ads till end. For more details, please visit our website, www.ibmainframer.com. Happy learning!